Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Tuesday, May the 23rd. And today what I'd like to do is I'd like to look at how we can use GNU Radio and create an embedded Python block to take um, various parameters from GNU Radio and write them into the GPIO of a Raspberry Pi. So what I've got set up here is I've got my Windows 10 laptop connected to a network and I'm going to connect my Raspberry Pi over the network so I can use the screen and the keyboard on the laptop to operate the Raspberry Pi. I've also got uh, a marine antenna here and I've got an RTL SDR. This is the version 3 which has the nice feature that you can get the HF band on that as well. And I've got a GNU schematic here open on Windows. I'm going to show you on Windows how the... Um, I've got a schematic here for marine VHF receiver and we're going to add uh, a power a threshold um, a threshold block here and the idea is that if the signal strength is at a certain level we want to use that as a signal to send to the GPIO so let's say uh, you have you can calibrate this for a certain signal strength in DBM and then turn on an LED so over here uh, is where I have all the various Raspberry Pis this, this is a Raspberry Pi 4 it's got a an RTL connected to it, that's the version 2, it's got a whip antenna we can receive marine weather on there and I've got a USB speaker and I've connected an LED to the uh, Raspberry Pi GPIO pin 16 which is GPIO 23 and then the ground connection is pin 14 so we'll see that light turn on when the squelch works okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to Camtasia and we'll look at how the uh, the VHF circuit works Okay, so now we're uh, we're in Windows here. I'm I'm got GNU Radio open on Windows just to show you how the uh, this VHF circuit works. So there's my RTL uh, DR source goes into a low pass filter, and then I go into a resampler for my narrowband receive. Okay, and then get my audio out. So this particular circuit I've used all through my blog and YouTube on many many instances. There's nothing new there. What I've added down here is this RMS block and that takes the power output of the low pass filter of the signal you're tuned to and it gives you a real number here and then we use a threshold detector now it depends on the strength coming in on your antenna and everything up you can set it up here I've set it up for if it's greater than 300 uh, millivolts here then um, trigger the um, trigger the uh, threshold so it'll give you a one if it's higher and it'll give you a zero if it's low and then we can monitor it with a, G, a G, GNU number sync. And then in uh, the Raspberry Pi, I've got the same schematic, but I've added an, an embedded Python block to turn on the GPIO. So let's just see how this thing works. Right now, it's chugging away here. So let me just turn the volume up. So I'm off-tuned here. Marine weather is 162.4 megs. I'm off-tuned here. So you can see on the threshold, got a very low threshold coming in so the uh, threshold detector outputs a zero now if I actually go to the right frequency which is 162.4 it's like that so now that's the weather signal and you can see now that the threshold block is output at a one okay. okay so now we'll go to the Raspberry Pi same circuit and there's the um, I'm look I'm using VNC viewer to operate the Raspberry Pi and there's my circuit okay now here's the extra block I've written in here now what I've done is when you put on the embedded Python block all I did was slightly alter the code I'm not a great programmer and I'm not an expert in Python but I was uh, I was able um, to uh, write some code to get this thing to work so open an editor I'll use the default editor which is genie we can have a quick look at this block okay so basically um, the only thing I added when when you open the default block you get a bunch of code which multiplies the input by a constant so basically what I did is I added this thing here this gives you the uh, the library to access the GPIO so I added that line there and then I took out the constant from self and then I don't need an output and then I made the input a float 
And I just added these statements from the GPIO library here. So I set the thing initially at low, I, I set pin 23 to low. I'm using the GPIO uh, numbers, not the pin numbers. So 23 is actually pin 16, but it's GPIO 23. And then down here, I'm saying if the threshold is one, then set, turn the LED on. So it's very simple, very simple code. All the details are in the blog post. Okay, so I'll just close that. So um, let's just run this and we'll see what happens. So just S executed the flow graph. I'm going to turn the volume down here. So right now the threshold is zero because there's no signal. I'll put that as a two. Now we get a one there, and um, I'll add a, a, um, a video section here showing the LED turning on. So the LED is now turned on.